So amazing, amazing, amazing morning. It's an amazing morning, but I'm not going to deliver something amazing or bright because it's about render between become the silent, provide a safe and friendly educational environment for students. Is the content of regulation issued by the government of Vietnam, but it is certified. But according to the Ministry of Education and Training, from 2009 to 2019, each year there were around 1,600 school violence cases in Vietnam, and this means when all you stay in here to enjoy the educational value at the next. There would be five school violent cases happening now outside the group. And this means there are at least 10 students have prevented from educational value that they have the right to do. And they can be your kids, they can be your brother, and they can be your sister. So, when provide a safe and friendly education of our student is satisfied. And today, I will talk about school bullying, one of the most pervasive forms of school violence, according to UNESCO. It refers to one or more perpetrators who have a greater physical strength or more social power than their victim and who repeatedly add a practice toward the victim. And why I chose school bullying? Because when I studied at primary school, I was bullied. And you see that now, in 2023, 20, there are wide range of news like this. This, this, this and this. And it's about school violence with on, on way increase, with on way rising. So I will talk about my experience. I was bullied. And at that time, I don't ask myself that which subject will I study today. Because I ask myself, will I be bullied today? Is the first question. And the second question, how many times will I be bullied today? And you know, I was suffer the school bullying for a long time, but then it's worth day. I decided to fight back the bullying. And I guess what happened? The next day, the father of the bullying goes to school, met my teacher, and they asked me, why? Why did I do that? But I don't answer or say anything because I so impressed. And they warned me about what might happen if I relapse. But really, I couldn't hear anything. With curse, I trembling with fear. And at the time, I always thought, I fight back the bully of grounds. The father goes to school and strive to protect him. And I become an assailant. But I can count how many times I were bullied for five years, but there are no protection. And why? Why I didn't call for help when I be bullied? Because my mother is a single mom, bringing up two kids and always busy with work. We rarely talk about my school life. And she was still concerned me, but 
it's not enough to detect that I were bullied. And it's not enough for me to adapt to that. I work hard, stupid. I work hard, study badly. He's so fat. He eat gay at school. And I feel that my mother always is of the belief that school provides a safe and friendly educational environment for students. But she didn't know. School bullying can defy the fundamental right of the children to education. So, school is not as safe as you believe. And in my story, first, I was bullied. I decided this to fight back, and I make it become a fight at school. And then I decided to keep silent and I think it would be better. But no, I still were bullied for five years. And after that, I am a victim, but also a, an assailant of school violence. And you know, like yes, when I study at primary school, A day, how many times I were bullied? Someone is one, but someone is four and five. And it's time, there will not be one bullier, but more. And I can remember all of the, their three, or all of their names. But it's enough for me to cry after 10 years. And on this day, they are affecting. Do you see my smile? It's bright, it's natural, but I have learned it. Because after bullying time, I cannot smile. And I practice to smile every day so I can smile natural like all the children. So, after my story, you know that you can have, you can have how, when you call for help. You can call your parent, you can call your teacher, you can call consultation, serve it at your school, a car national car center protection try one one one. Easy to remember. One one one. And adult, remember, you only have one chance to help bully the children. Because if you ignore their belief for help, they will decide to keep silent forever. And bully a student. If you were bullied, were defamed, or were hit like that, ask yourself, are you going to school to be bullied? No! Let's stand up. And don't give up until you have the right to be safe when going to school. We go into school, not to make school bullying worse. We go to school to learn how to solve it right. And how many times you make it work when you deal with it wrongly? How much time you keep silent and suffer it alone? Don't worry, I can change my past, but you can change your present. Therefore, I'm standing here today to tell you, it's time for you to speak up now or never. Okay, a surprise. Woo, everybody.
people just a hugging a hugging the hugging that's a meditation a hugging practice to help you reduce everything that the mindfulness give a help for your partner for your friends for your family for everything we can stop everything that's for great show for great student for great people around here thank you so much for speaking Thank you, thank you the speaker and thank you, thank you.